In session number one, I showed you the most popular speed training exercises athletes routinely told me they did to help themselves get faster. And after going through this list, we saw where the glutes and hams, quads, and calves were the primary muscles being targeted. And as expected, the feedback I've gotten was the same as it's always been, in that athletes are spending upwards of 80% or more of their time training to make these muscles stronger. I then showed you where on the body they were located and told you the purpose of these muscles was to push the body forward. I told you this because it just so happens to be the most popular answer I get when I ask people to tell me what they think these muscles do. And I'm quite certain if I asked you what you thought they did, you'd tell me the same thing. But I want you to know now that in reality, pushing the body forward is a very basic description of what these muscles really are doing not only when you run, but also when you walk and jog. And I also want you to know that I didn't feel it was the right time back in that first session to elaborate more on the role of the glutes and hams, quads and calves because we already had enough to talk about. Plus, in order for you to fully appreciate the rotational force or torque these muscles produce that I spoke about earlier, it's going to require a lot more time and effort on my part to explain, which is why this video is being made. So with that, let's get this session started. Torque is defined as the ability of a force to cause rotation of an object around a central axis. For example, whether you are turning a wrench, steering a car, screwing in a light bulb, or opening a jar. A rotational force or torque is required to successfully accomplish these tasks. Simply stated, we depend on our ability to produce it for one thing or another every day to get through life. There are only two directions torque can travel, clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise torque is any force that causes the object to rotate in the same direction a working clock travels. So for example, if we imagine applying a force to the minute hand way out here going this way, it will cause it to rotate around the central axis just like a clock would. And that's why we refer to its direction as clockwise and abbreviate it as CW. Counterclockwise torque is any force that causes an object to rotate in the opposite direction a working clock travels. So for example, if we imagine applying a force to the minute hand way out here now going this way, it will cause it to rotate around the central axis in the reverse direction as a normal clock would. And that's why we refer to its direction as counterclockwise and abbreviate it as CCW. And because this will become relevant here shortly, I want you to know that if we apply a force directly to the central axis itself, right here in the middle, then no rotation or torque will be produced. All right, that's going to do it for this video. You can access the link to the next part in this series, as well as all 12 parts in the description below. Now, before I go, I wanna say that if you liked my video, then please click the like button, feel free to share it wherever you want, and leave me a question or comment as I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow Athletic Quickness on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date on all of our speed training tips, articles, and exercises. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.